This is a drum type OXO salad spinner. And for the first time, it has magnetic levitation joined to the zero point pivot. So I've got magnets in there that are spinning over coils. The coils in this case are 1200 turns. And it's producing current. It's loading that 150 volt capacitor, 10,000. Now, see, it's at 103, 104, 105. 110 house current. It's the joining of Canada celestial wedding between energy and material realms. It's a sexual union. In this very center, the zero point, both energy and matter. 120. It's got two magnets in there, one inch in diameter with a half an inch in the middle. Uh, about half, don't aim at me. 122 volts house current. So with a few improvements, you can take your 15 amp, your 15 amp circuit breaker, take out the wires, put a switch in between them, and link it up to this and some capacitors like that one, and you can run the circuit right off the bloody wall with plug-ins, and with your heater, with your uh, solid, uh, with your blender, with uh, various lights and whatnot. And you're generating your own energy. And you say, hey, yeah, but man, I gotta keep doing it. Look, it's going down, it's pulling on the energy, I gotta keep doing it. Oh, okay. So, you take your wind machine, and the wind machine doesn't turn on the ordinary ones, the direct action ones, until they've got 12 or 14 mile per hour winds, which is like once a week or every two weeks or maybe every year. No. Here you've got the farmer's old pump one out on the prairie, right? So you've got a pump apparatus that's on a lever. Yeah. And when you reach 110, 120, which it itself will not do, you place that on and it keeps doing it on a four or five mile an hour wind, which is almost a constant every day. So it will maintain the thing steady. We already did it with the uh, automobile designs that people thought were a fantasy. When I said that the passengers could like do these drum-like uh, generators. Oh, well, you know, some uh, alien culture in the future, some poetic thing. No, we, you just watched it done. You just saw it done. 120 volts, more than house current. House current is 110, 220 divided into two with a three-wire set. All right, this is the pedal version, and the one on the left has the same kind of magnets, but not the, not the levitation magnets. And this one has got lighter set of magnets. But what I'm showing here is in a car, how you can pedal them both. And you can do it like, like a walk, a kind of power walk. Or you can do them both at once, like this. And you can see the lighter magnets are at 36, and this one's at 54, 64. 65. So you can see how the heavier magnets are like uh, 72, 74. Now the stand I've got here, this, uh, this transparent bar, is kind of unstable. This would have to be worked out, you know, how to get the most far from like, you know, bone studies, muscle studies, all the rest of it. You know, like you did with the 
computer and mouse. Okay, we're at 83. But we're not getting much higher. 84. We're stuck at 83. To hell with it. Do it with my hand. 88, 90, 95, 100, 106, 110, 12. 113. 114. Come on, baby. 115. Ah. 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 We got 121 with the drum type. And this is the lever type. And we got 111. 110. What was it, 113? Something. But they took my hand because my feet were slipping on that bar. I won that. I couldn't go any faster. Okay. So, and maybe if with levitation magnets, it would go up to 120 more very easily. House, but it's 110 house current. So we got house current from both types that were illustrated in FS20. But everybody said, uh, electronic guys, Hey, you got to go to washers and spin dryers. And they should, they've got a video showing a spin dryer. And he's got his little finger, like I said, <laughs> FS20. And I couldn't figure out how to increase the power here. And then I figured, hey, put a board in there and fasten it with screws to a much wider thing with more bigger magnets, 12 of them instead of six, and 18 coils under and over. And you get more than five times the two amps, three amps that that one's making. This will make 10, 20 amps. So this shows the positioning of the pivot point of the zero point material. And this shows the two inch magnets, the bigger magnets I will use building this. And many of the same things, the same solid spinner. I thought I'd have to take out, rebuild this, all that. No, I can do the same thing I did, even with the support. And, uh, and that's how to build it. You can freeze this if you want. It's labeled. And everybody can build these. And I just want to say one thing. Everybody, you know, Look at it. Look at all these solid spinners. Some of them cost two dollars from the Saudi end or the St. Vincent de Paul. They're hot shop, right? See, I left the price on them. Look, that means where? Where's my magnets? Look, these are from speakers. Speaker magnets. Eight ohm speaker mode, nothing fancy like 16 ohm super bass or anything. You can put these in a solid spinner and make a, a generator for your uh, laptop computer and other devices, you know, for less than 10 bucks. For guys that get uh, their wiring from transformers, less than five bucks. You know, it's almost all free. These things are being thrown up in the thousands, millions on the street, all the old speakers. Everybody's using electronics now, right? That's it. Cut. So good luck. I hope you, if you start small, you can see it gets big fast, you know. So I hope you're all making salad spinners. This can change the world. Salvation by the salad spinner. Goodbye. Till next time. Don't go away.